Oh boy, tech enthusiast, here we go. You know, Kaleidoscape is one of the platforms in home theater that I cover a lot on this channel. I try to do a really pragmatic, fair, but very detailed assessment all about the platform, how it works, what you can do with it. And today we have the release, the announcement and the release, love it coming together, of version 10.14 of the Kaleidoscape operating system. They had a webinar this morning, I guess, for dealers. The news is out, they've published it for public consumption and the software update is already out. Let me just give kudos right there. I can't stand if we would have got the announcement and we would have gotten like, coming this fall to Kaleidoscape hardware. Nope, they didn't do that. We have the software and I already checked. I'm already running it. 10.14 literally updated to my Kaleidoscape hardware the day of the announcement. Massive thumbs up. So what are we getting? Some really, really big news I think overall and some ways that the news could have been a little more exciting as well. But in any case, we've got some minor enhancements, what they call refinements to audio track selection logic, okay, HDMI robustness improvements, okay. I know I've personally experienced a lot of frustration use, taking my Kaleidoscape player to other places, plugging it into some display. Sometimes HDCP doesn't always pass, and if you wanna to try to run a Kaleidoscape with any kind of multi-display connection or an HDMI splitter, I've had trouble with that. Maybe this will improve that, I don't know. With this software, we can also buy the new TV Season Pass offering directly on the device. I guess before you had to go only to the webpage or the app to do that. And then of course, the general bug fixes. Gotta love bug fixes. I work in software development. I put out release notes that say the same thing. You never quite know what you're getting with bug fixes. That could mean a lot, it could mean a little. But the big one, the elephant in the room, is the massive, massive change to the disk to digital program. So I've talked about this a ton uh, across multiple videos here on the channel. I even made a rant a little while ago uh, about how much of a kludge the, the whole like migrating physical media to Kaleidoscape process is. Even though they've kind of like, or even though it's been held up as like this big virtue of the platform, in order to do it before, you had to seek out old Kaleidoscape Cinema One or Alto level hardware that stuff is all out of service. It's no longer in production. You had to go buy used devices. A lot of times the slot Blu-ray drives and those devices now years later are failing. They're not really reliable. We've had great folks like in the owner's forum, some great dealers that kind of like crowdsource some altos and ship them around to people to help them migrate into the platform. Those days are all over. So what do we got now? Well, we now have the ability to buy a readily available off-the-shelf external Blu-ray drive and plug it in to Kaleidoscape hardware. It plugs in just via USB to the back of our Stratos and they already have a tech support page for this established as well. Love it. There's four drives that they're recommending. There's a Pioneer, an Asus, an OWC, and a Buffalo. They're all larger format like five and a quarter drive, drive enclosures, and a key element. They all require external power. You can't use a USB powered like slim or small form factor drive to do this. I guess they're not putting out that kind of power from the USB ports of the Stratos to allow it. So you have to have the bigger enclosure, separate power supply, you plug it into the Strato, the Strato is gonna go into like a special cataloging mode and then you can feed your discs through. It, it appears based on their instructions that like this is all kind of automatic. You don't necessarily interact with the on-screen display while the cataloging process is underway. That's a little different from how I experienced it when I did this with an Alto some time ago. So I'll be really curious to see how it works in practice. But according to their documentation, at least, you feed your discs through kind of one by one. You'll see some blinking lights, the disc will eject. And then that disc will be what they call cataloged into your system, which means it will show up kind of in your UIs. It'll show up in your library, so to speak. And you will be given a, essentially a digital offer to buy that movie, hopefully at a significantly reduced price, in the Kaleidoscape movie store. Now, the, the price reductions are going to be very variable. They always have been. Some studios discount more than others. Certain titles, for whatever reasons, carry deep discounts. Some titles don't. There's a difference in old versus new movies as well. So there's a lot of variation. Historically, there has been a lot of variation in this program. And it seems like that variation will continue. It'll take actually running some discs through this process before I can specifically say or get an idea of like which studios are the preferred ones and how it all works. But this is really, really, I think, an amazing step forward 
for them to, to even allow this and kind of add this feature to the platform. I know the folks out there that have big physical media libraries, that, that's a huge uh, barrier of entry to moving over to Kaleidoscape to leave a lot of physical media behind and start all over again from scratch in the Kaleidoscape platform. And this is like an adrenaline shot to be able to go ahead and perhaps migrate into K, bring some of your content with you and be able to do so at hopefully again, a significantly reduced price. Now, I don't have the drive to be able to try this out, test it out, but I already ordered one. Of course, you knew that, right? So I looked at them all on Amazon. I think all three drive or all four drive recommendations are available there. I went for the Asus right now as of recording this. It was the cheapest one, $125 marked down on Amazon. I would encourage you, if you're going to buy drives for this, please use the Amazon affiliate links. I will have all of the drives linked in the description below. My drive will be here in a matter of days, and I will be planning content around this whole process, a breakdown, uh, hands-on instructions, how to make it work, and of course, comments on the pricing models, the differences in the studios, and all of that to come. So stay tuned on the channel as soon as I can get that drive in my hand. Rest assured, this channel is, is very focused <laughs> on Kaleidoscape-oriented content, and this is major, major news that I will have all of the information that you might need in as short an order as possible. I have to say that the elephant in the room of this feature and the thing that people were already immediately asking about, myself included, is what about 4K discs? We didn't get it. We, don't, we do not have 4K cataloging. It doesn't matter if you buy a 4K drive, connect it to your Strato, you cannot put a 4K disc in there, apparently, and have it recognized by the Strato itself. So I did post the question or pose the question to Kaleidoscape via the owner's forum. Awesome place to engage directly with K since they came there and posted all the details and the links and the information for us. And Mike from Kaleidoscape, great guy, graciously answered. And to quote, he basically said that supporting 4K discs for cataloging would have required substantially more engineering effort than to bring kind of the existing capability that, that already exists in the platform, exists in the system, and project it to an external drive. So rather than rather than make the engineering effort or the engineering investment to allow 4K cataloging to work, they wanted to bring this to market sooner, faster, or whatnot, and so they did. We have this available to us now. If it would have included 4K, I guess we wouldn't have had this available to us now at all. And and who knows when and if 4K cataloging will come. He didn't he didn't confirm or deny whether they might be working on that as a follow up. I do have to admit, I, I have to say that it would have been so much better if 4K cataloging would have been improved here. But we will take what we can get, and by any measure, by any measure, this is a pretty massive feature for the platform. This is a, ma a major, major step forward for the platform, again, because the process of using an Alto or an old Cinema 1 to do this cataloging, to do these digital redemptions and all that, is really just a kludgy, uh, frustrating, and broken process. And the, the, the stock or the, the ability to even buy an Alto or a Cinema 1 used, they come up on eBay or the owner's forums. They're so few and far between. They cost thousands of dollars now. People asking like $2,000, $3,000 for some of these devices just to catalog to save money on content. It really wasn't starting to make sense in most cases. But now we can buy a drive, $125, and be able to do this much simpler uh, and much more efficiently. That's where I'm going to leave it right now. Kudos to K. Major, major software feature capability release here. Love it. I want to see more. There's so much more that this company can do. There's so much more I think that Kaleidoscape can be. Looking very, very much forward to more news and excitement out of Kaleidoscape in 2023. I'd been thinking, hoping, and everything that 2023 would be a banner year for the company. And here we are. February's not even over yet. And we got a pretty major announcement and our first major feature release. Keep them coming, Kaleidoscape. Keep them coming. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, if there's anything that you want me to clarify or that you, we want to make sure that I hit in a how-to or a demonstration type video, sound off in the comments. Are you excited about this? Does this change your opinion or your position on Kaleidoscape? Were you sitting back maybe not ready to, to jump in, not ready to buy in, but with this change, with the accessibility of this feature change and the ability to migrate your physical media collection or as much of it as you choose over 
does this change the way that you think about Kaleidoscape? If you are interested in buying into Kaleidoscape, reach out to me and let me know. I don't sell it. I'm not a dealer. I'm independent, but I can make referrals to some folks like Dan DiCarlo at AudioVision who shows up on the channel here that is, as well as if you're going to buy into Kaleidoscape, please use my referral code. It kicks back to me a little bit of a movie store credit that I can spend borderline instantaneously. Otherwise, please do all the regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and again, look down in the description for some ways to support the channel. Super thanks, Amazon links, if you're buying those Kaleidoscape interface external drives, please buy them with my Amazon links. I would very, very much appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Come on back for a whole lot more on Kaleidoscape to come. Thanks.